how to use Viber application. Hello guys and welcome back to a new video. In today's video, I'm going to show you that how you can use Viber application. Viber is a messaging application where you can send and receive messages where you can call both audio and video calls. So guys, first of all, all you need to do is to go to the Play Store or App Store and download Viber application. Once you download Viber application, the next step you need to do is to create an account on Viber application. I already posted a video on how to create an account on Viber application. You can find the link of that video in the description below. So guys, once you download and install the application and already created an account, you need to open the application. Once you open application, the first interface that you will see will look like this. Here is you can see right at the bottom, you can see chats, you can see call option and there is an option more. So first of all, I will tell you how you can edit your account. So I will tap on more. Once you tap on more, you will find the first thing that is your name and your profile picture that I did not choose a profile picture yet. So how are you going to do it? You need to tap on uh, the edit option, the pencil option at the top right corner. Once you tap on that one here, you will find the option how to change your profile picture. So I will tap on the camera option. Once you tap on the camera option, there will be two more option pop up. One is you can access to your gallery and select a picture or you can choose the camera and take a picture and choose it as your profile picture so i will tap on the gallery once you tap on the gallery you need to go to the gallery and you need to select any of the picture that, that you want it to be your profile picture i will select this one so guys then you can select the area that you want you can drag it and then you need to save that one and it will be selected as your profile picture as you can see right now the next thing from here you can do you can change your name as well and you can change your birthday as well from here the next thing that if you want to change your email ID, you can change it from here as well. Once you're done with everything, you can just tap on the back uh, option. So guys, once you go back, as you can see, the profile picture has been updated right now. So guys, this is how you can edit your profile information and your profile picture. The next thing is the very important thing is the setting. If you tap on setting here. So the first thing is the account setting from here. You, here you can back up your uh, Viber as well. You, you can back up your chats and all the media files that you receive from your contacts. You can uh, back up here. So how are you going to do it? As you can see, not connected to Google Drive right now. You uh, I'm not connected to Google Drive, so I cannot back up my chats or the media files. So, all you need to do is to tap on the settings option here and here choose account for Viber here you can choose any of your Google account and once you choose it just tap on OK I will choose this account and I will tap on OK so here as you can see so here as you can see Viber wants to access your Google account so you need to tap on allow so guys, now as you can see, uh, the, the backup is enabled right now. And if I tap on backup, everything will be backed up now. So I will tap on backup. You don't have any message history to backup. So I just created the account. I don't have any history, so I cannot back it up. So this is how you can connect your uh, Google Drive with Viber and everything will be backed up. The next thing is that your purchases here, you can restore your subscriptions, restore sticker packs. If you buy sticker packs or any other subscription, there is an option in this uh, application, which is called Viber Out, which uh, if you subscribe, you, if you do the purchases on that, you can actually call on any number in the world uh, while using that credit so this is how you can restore them uh, here you can use viber on your desktop and tablets as well change phone number you can change your phone number from here new phone number you need to tap on continue and from here you can change your number and the next thing that you can do is that deactivate account from here you can enter your phone number here and just tap on deactivate account and your account will be deactivated. So this is some, some of the important settings of account. The next very important thing is the privacy. Share online status. If you want your status to be shown online, you can change this setting once every 24 hours. So if you change it, then the next time you can change it after 24 hours send scene status turning this setting off will hide other scene status from you as well so if you hide this from others uh, you cannot see the scene the last scene of other people as well 
show your photo lets user who aren't in your contact see your photo so if you enable this option everybody can see your photo but if you uh, not enable this one the people who are not in your contact list will not see your profile picture share your birth date if you want to share your birth date with your friends uh, you can allow this option of you if you want to hide that one you can just uh, disable it by tapping it as you can see and nobody can see that so guys the other important thing is in the privacy setting is that the control who can add you to the groups so guys once you tap on that one there will be another message will pop up say who can add me to this group anyone or my contact so it totally depend on your preference if you want everyone that they can add you to any group you can choose anyone and if you want only your contacts then you need to select my contacts only there is another important thing is the block list here you will find the people that you have blocked if you want to block somebody you need to tap on the plus sign and here you will find the contact in your list in your contact list and you can just select that person and then tap on the arrow at the top right corner and then that person will be blocked so guys the next thing is that hidden chats here as you can see changed pin you can create a pin here so guys here what you will do you will create a pin and then your chats will be hidden here if you want your chats to be hidden then you can hide it here using a pin so guys this is some important settings about the privacy the next thing is the notification here you will find all the important options regarding notification contact join viber so there will be a notification that somebody some of your contact who joined viber recently you will get a notification show birthday reminders get birthday notification show explore notification there are many notification option vibrate when ringing so if you don't want your phone to be vibrated you can just uh, disable that one um, notification sound you can change here as you can see alert or you can choose any of the sound from below and it will be changed so this is how you can change the settings of notification the other important thing is the call and messages once you tap on call and messages press enter to send the send button will be used to send a message so if you enable this one it will work as it is as they mentioned here swipe right to reply if you swipe right you can reply to the message this is also a very good shortcut so guys the next thing is that viber in calls receive regular incoming calls with viber when possible receive business messages that is also enable allow businesses to message you through viber you can also use a device proximity sensor the last thing is that clear messaging history so if you tap on this one this will delete all your viber messages history if you want to delete everything uh, all your chat history you can just tap on delete history and then tap on clear and everything will be clear from your chat so the next thing is that media and storage which is also very important which is photo quality choose the quality of the photos that you sent accident which will be 650k good is 250k and compressed is 180k depends on you uh, if you want your data not to be used more then you can uh, select a compressed one or a good one if you want to send a good quality pictures you can select the excellent one uh, save to gallery if you in disable this one the, the media files that you receive um, it will not be saved automatically to your gallery if you enable this one the pictures will be automatically the pictures and the videos all the media files will be automatically downloaded to your gallery auto download media or mobile if you tap on this one so everything that people sent you your contact sent you will be downloaded on your uh, mobile phone service data uh, it will not need a wi-fi so if you disable so then when you're connected with a wi-fi then you can download that will be auto downloaded auto download media when connected to a wi-fi as you can see it is enabled auto play videos auto play video if you enable this one all the video that you received will be auto played restrict data usage viber will optimize for minimal data usage on mobile network that is a very good option if you don't want your data to be used more then you can enable this one and a uh, viber application will take care of that one so guys these were some of the setting of media and storage the next setting is uh, the appearance once you tap on appearance there are 
themes which we call the modes when is classic one the other one is dark blue as you can see i tap on that one and it's changed and one is black so from here you can choose theme which in other words we call it a mode like a dark mode or dark blue mode or classic one i will back to the classic one change default background if you tap on this one and you can change the default background like the default background for the chats you can select any of that and your default background will be changed so so this is how you can change the appearance the last one is the general setting you can change the, the language from here as you can see there are many options that if you want to change the language of the application you can change it from here so the other thing is that show all contact is enable synchronize contact add wiper contact to your device contact so, so when you add a contact it will be added to your uh, wiper contact as well if that person is available on wiper so guys these were some of the important settings the next thing that you can do here is uh, add a contact so if i tap on add a contact here here you need to enter the number that you want to add or you can scan QR code by just tapping on this one. So guys, once you tap on scan QR code, you can scan the QR code of another contact which is on Viber and then you can add that person as well. So guys, the next thing that you can do, you can invite friends uh, to Viber as well. Just tap on invite and here you can select uh, people, the contacts which are not on Viber. You can select them and just select like this and send the invitation to all of them. Or you can select all from here, from the top right corner, there is an option and then you can send the invitation to your contact list and they can join Viber application. So this is how you can do. So guys, now the next thing, the next very important thing is the chats that how you can send messages and how you can send and receive messages and how you can make calls. So if I tap on chats and here you will find um, the, the list of the chats that you have done with people. But if you tap on the icon of chats here, so once I tap on here, he will find all your contacts. So if you want to chat to someone, you can find any contact here. You can just tap on that contact is like, I will tap on here and here, as you can see, you can send a text message like this. And as you can see, there is a single tick mark. So that means that the message has been sent, not delivered yet, but uh, the message has been sent. So if there will be a second tick to that one, it will be a double tick. That means that the message has been delivered. The next thing that you can do in a chat, as you can see, you can actually do a audio call. As you can see, there is an option. You can tap on that one and then you will have an audio call. Then there is a video call um, icon at the top right corner as you, you will tap on that one and you can call a video call to that contact to that particular contact if you tap on the three dotted menu here at the top right corner you can see viber out call create a group with this person if you want to create a group with this person you can create the group just to tap on create a group with this person chat information here you can see media links and files if you share between you two if you tap on that one you will find the list here so um this is how you can access a shortcut uh, to the media files that you have shared between you two. So guys, then there is an option as you can see, if you go to the type option here, as you can see, there are some stickers. So you can select any stickers of these here. As you can see, there are many options. The next thing that you can do is to tap on the plus sign. And once you tap on the plus sign, here you will find the sticker market from where you can do the purchases if that uh, sticker is not available for free. The next thing that you can do which is very interesting is create a sticker. So once you tap on create a sticker you need to tap on the plus sign here and then you need to access to your gallery. You can actually create your own sticker using your own picture. So I will select a picture just to show you and then you need to tap on the magic wand. And once you tap on that option as you can see um the background has been disappeared so then you can use the eraser if you want to erase some of the the areas which is not completely disappeared uh the background you can make it very neat if you want to and then you need to tap on the arrow at the top right corner once you tap on here as you can see then you can use the text here if you want to add a text you can even add a sticker to your to your own sticker as well which is very really cool and then you can use a doodle as well so once you're done you need to tap on save sticker so once you're done with a uh, save sticker you need to select a name of this pack i will just uh, 
select high and high again just for the tutorial purpose and then you need to create a pack and once you tap on create a pack as you can see it's actually created and you can now send this sticker to your contact which is very cool option that you can create your own stickers so guys the next thing that is very important if you want to share the media files like pictures and everything you need to tap on here and you can select any picture from your gallery and you can send it the next thing is that you can directly uh, access to your camera and you can send you can take a picture and send it to your contact so guys the next important thing that you can do in the chats is the disappearing messages if you tap on the timer icon here and as you can see next messages will disappear after 10 second one minute one hour one day or it is off right now for me so if you want your messages to be disappear after one minute one minute or one hour you can choose that one and then the message will disappear suppose i select 10 second and then i send a message so as you can see, there is a timer. Once the person will open this chat and see the message, then the timer will start. And after 10 seconds, the message will disappear. So you need to tap on that option again. If you want to off it, you can off it from here. The next thing, very important thing is that you can send a video recording to, to a contact. Just tap on, tap and hold on this icon here at the, at the left as you can see of your screen and if you tap on one time you can see that you you can change it to an audio message as well so so here all you need to do is to tap and press it for a long time and you can record your message if you want to change it to a video message then you can change it to a video this is also a very good option in this application so guys the next important thing that i want to discuss is the three dotted menu here if you tap on the three dotted menu here you can share a contact if you want to share a contact you can just tap on share contact and you can share a contact you can send a file as well or you can share your location as well from here so guys this is how you can use the different features while chatting while communicating with your contacts on viber application so guys the next option is the call option as you can see if you tap on the call option here and here you will find the people that you can call here you will get access to your contact and here you can just invite that person if that person is not available on you can invite it from here as well or you can just call from if that person is on viber you can actually call that person as well so guys this is how you can use viber application if you find this video helpful please like the video and subscribe to our channel and don't forget to press the bell icon for future notification i will see you in the next video till then take care bye bye